Hey everybody, this is Brian. Welcome to the 18th Q tutorial with uh, C++ and GUI programming. Today we're going to cover the Q radio button. So let's just actually drag and drop a few of these on here. And let's just drop a button on there too. And let's just throw these in a layout, make them nice and neat. And then we'll create the forms layout. There we go. Use the infamous click me, and we'll say cats and dogs. And let's actually call this radio button one, and we'll call this radio button two. So, very simple we have two radio buttons, cats and dogs, and a button that says click me. Go ahead and select cats, and we're going to say checked and just check it. Now let me run this application and show you exactly what radio buttons do. I'm sure you've probably seen these before but I just want to show you. It allows you to check one or the other and you can have many 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 of these and as long as they're in the same uh, control group or widget group they will stay together. But for this example just very simple cats or dogs. And then we're going to right click the button, go to slot, clicked, kind of going through this really fast. Uh, if you've been following along with my tutorials, you're you're acing this right now. You're kind of sitting here falling asleep. So we're just going to real quickly do this. If UI and we're going to say radio button 1. Is checked. And instead of doing an else, I'm going to actually, you know, just go into both of them here, but Say Q, Q message box information, and you know you've seen the message box before. There's no voodoo magic going on here. And let's just say uh, UI, and we'll get the text property out of there. Let's just copy that, paste it, and. Uh, change the radio button 1 to radio button 2. That way you'll see which one fires this off. And let's just save and run our work here. And when you hit click me you see that cats is selected. When you select dogs and click me you'll see that dogs is selected. So that's the Q radio button. Uh, very simple. It's it's similar to a checkbox um, but it's different in the fact that you can have multiple checkboxes and check them individually where the radio button will force you to choose one option. So this is Brian. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video educational and entertaining.